What's good guys, CJ here and welcome back to more Raid Shadow Legends. In today's video, we got a lot to talk about. Not only are we kicking off the spooky season, but we're also going to be talking about my top three Halloween heroes. And if that wasn't enough, we have the two free champions you can get. We have the Asgard event and the return of Monkey King Wukong that you can get yourself right now by just playing the game. So let's hop right on to the video. So remember, if you want to join and play with your boy, be sure to use my link in the description to download the game. And if you do, you will get two free epic champions. The first one being Tag of War, which is a really solid magic support champion. And once you reach level 15, you will get Gristle Jar, which is an epic magic defense champion. And I got to tell y'all, current events are going crazy. There is so much content that you can do and so many things that you can get that if you start playing now and until October 23rd, you will be able to claim the free legendary champion Loki, the Deceiver, as well as a bunch of goodies. And there's even more champions you can get by participating in the Asgard events. Champions from Norse mythology like Loki, Thor Fayhammer, Freya Fateweaver, and Odin Fatefather. So be sure to hop on in. And if you need a clan, feel free to join mine. We'll be active, chatting it up, and playing every single day. So what's good guys we're back with more raid shadow legends and before we continue i want to remind y'all that if you use the code monkey king you're going to be able to get yourself sun wukong and just perfect considering the fact that we just had black myth wukong release this guy is the real deal he's really good he's going to help you guys out on your journey so do be sure to go ahead and get him as soon as you can because he is going to be game changing now, with all that out the way, let's actually do some summons because I want to start seeing if I can get lucky. And I just want to get some shards, some dupes of some characters. Now, we do have quite a bit of mystery shards. Nothing fancy is going to come out of this. So we're just going to do a little bit of this and we're going to do some summons and see what kind of characters we get. We might get some interesting characters. Not that these are characters we're going to use. They're pretty basic fodder units, but we might be able to use some of these to actually start doing some fusions and maybe see if we eventually can get something good so let's go ahead and see nothing interesting just some basic characters yo hold on sister militant just basic she's she just basic let's do this again yes we gotta buy slots we have a whole bunch of characters already we've been on the grind there we go lurker y'all know y'all know lurker out here lurking she be doing things, bro. She out here showing that belly button. Okay, okay. What about Ranger? Ranger? That's like her cousin. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and do an Ancient Shard. Now, I can get Lucky and maybe get a Legendary. And there is extra Legendaries right now. Summon any Legendary Champion to get a different extra one as a bonus. Ladies and gentlemen, if we were to get a Legendary Champion and then we get another one, sheesh. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. There we go. We only got one of these. We probably ain't gonna get nothing. Let's let's be real. There we go. Just just a comment, but damn. Damn. Woo! You look good though. So we got the heavies. Damn, look at her pulling her hair by. Tiger Soul. Okay, she a barbarian. And we gotta grind out, get some of these other shards later on, but we will be doing some more summons. Hopefully getting some good characters. Now there is some things I want to show you. There is drop fever. So you want to make sure that anytime there's drop fever, you actually go out and get yourself the, the drops, the boosted drops, because this is going to make it so your progress is a lot faster. So we have ice golem going on today. Now, I don't think I can beat stage five yet. So we're going to do stage felt real swift like or actually, you know what? Let, let's give it a try. Let's see what it is and what it ain't. Let's actually do stage five. Let's change some of these champions. Let's drop the goat out here along with the other goat. So we got Ninja and Sun Wukong. And let's drop Homeboy over here. There we go. And let's run it up and see what we gonna do about it. Let's see. Bro, you know what I like about the teams is that you could really make some synergy with the characters you have. And currently, I don't have the best synergy because I'm still building up my roster and I don't want to overspend. That's one thing that in a game like this, you don't want to do. You do not want to put your resources all over the place. You want to test out different champions, read their kit and start building a team. 
try to pick champions that are going to clear the dungeons that you are going to be needing the most maybe leveling up your dps's or your tank the gear that you want for them are the champions you're mainly going to be working on so they can clear that so pay attention to the elements or the typings and pay attention to the characters you really want to build so far i've been focusing on what i got right so we've been focusing on wukong and ninja these two characters are pretty damn solid and they're gonna get a lot of work done as you saw we finally beat this stage so let's go ahead and try the next one now i don't think we're gonna be able to clear like 10 or 15 stages but i do see myself being able to clear at least a couple of stages i think i've worked on my team pretty damn well and they're doing a lot of work now i will say getting these leveled up has been a problem but thankfully some of the characters that I've actually put together to work right now are pretty damn good. The fact that they're giving you Sun Wukong just for starting the game and putting that nice little code in was great. The fact that they gave us Ninja last month, I will tell you, Raid is a game that will have you grinding, but at the same time is a game that will give you a bunch of characters along the way. They will give you a bunch of rewards, and they have events nonstop, so... From what I'm saying right here, I don't know if I can beat the next stage. I don't think I can beat the next stage because this dude is actually doing a lot of work. And I feel that on the next stage, he would probably kill my Wukong or my Ninja. Even though we just clapped them, I'm going to give it a try just for you guys. Just for you guys to see that even though you wipe a, a stage completely, the next stage is an absolute showdown. So right now we're just wiping the freaking mobs because this is easy. A lot of people start doing these dungeons and they're wiping through the mobs and they're like, yep, we can clear anything. And then they get to the boss and there, bro, there's a boss, as you saw in the last video, that literally has a mechanic to refill their HP. So I just couldn't kill it. It was like, and my team refills their HP. So we were stuck on a loop of nobody's dying what the hell is going on here and eventually i will just have to back out so you have to do very specific things to counteract those particular mechanics so from what i'm seeing right now he's doing way too much damage my team is still holding on and we're still doing damage we lost our second support slash healer so hopefully we can hold out before he wipes our team ninja is looking kind of kind of bloody over there Homie's looking scuffed. Okay, there we go. Oh, Ninja gone to kick. He's gone. Okay, let's see if Wukong and my good old tank can hold this down. I think... I Yeah, I was about to say I might... Never mind. I don't think I can hold it down because he's now going to target the mobs, and I think it's a wrap. Oh, hold up. No, he's not going to hold it down. Ooh. Wait. Oh, he could. I was so close, ladies and gentlemen. I was so close, but that's absolutely fine. That is just the name of the game. Grind, progress, and get better. But now I want to show you guys uh, some PvP. I've actually been wanting to do a little bit of PvP. I haven't really pushed too much. My team is not the greatest, but I'm pretty damn excited to see some of these matches. So we're going to go into this one. They have a level 50 Loki, so that's that's quite interesting. This is going to be my team. I know my team looks a little bit OP. My team is definitely over leveled compared to the team we're going up against. But they do got that Loki. They do got that Loki. And Loki be doing work. So let's put it on auto. Put it on times two. And one thing I will tell you is that I love the PvP in this game. Even though obviously it's going to be catered to those people that have dupes and have their characters a lot more leveled up. The fact that it just looks so good and the fact that you really have the opportunity to build teams together is really damn nice so let's see if we can find a team that's a little bit more of our level okay so here we go we have a team that looks to be our level yep 40 50 50 so pretty much the same let's go ahead and try this out and see what it is see if we can actually pull this off now i know that loki is a pretty damn good champion so anything can honestly happen my team is well-rounded and it does do a lot of damage between Wukong, Ninja, and Homie in the corner, the Samurai with the two blades. We are actually doing a lot of damage. And this is actually looking like a wash. See right there, bro, stealing buffs, doing damage with Wukong, the heals. Yeah, this is this was a wrap. I actually thought it was going to be more of a match, but 
I have too much firepower when it comes to my team. So let's see if we can find another team that's a little bit strong. Uh, Let's see. Everything looking kind of weak. I don't want to wait 14 minutes, so we'll just refresh real quick for the sake of the video. Uh, here we go. This team is actually stronger than mine. They have three level 50s. I have two level 50s. And then they have a 43, which is almost the same as mine. So this is actually a gamble right here. Let's see. I'm actually excited to see what it is. They do have Ninja and Loki. Okay, my Ninja almost got Dookied on. And they have a, a shield, bro. Oh, this is not good. This is definitely going to be a, a death on my end, bro. My Wukong and Ninja are both gone. Ooh, I got wiped, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the part that is very interesting when it comes to team building, right? They have a team that clearly synergizes very well with each other. Let's go ahead into this one because I ain't going to refresh no more. And once again, the very similar team. They have their two main DPSs here with Wukong and Ninja. And they're doing a lot of damage, bro. They took one of my characters out already. Okay. Okay, their ninja is down as well. They turn my Wukong into a sheep. Oh, hell no. Damn, their Wukong survived off the fact that he was actually a sheep, but then he got dookied on by my Minotaur. There we go, and there's going to be a dub on your boy's side. Pretty damn nice, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, damn, my ninja just got its defense reduced, but it's still not enough to hold me back. I like this character. She's pretty damn cool. Um, Let's see. Let's see what else is around here. This was the one that just dookied on me, wasn't it? It was. Let's do this one. This is another pretty even match. I mean, they got 150 and 240s. I'm a little bit on the stronger side on this, but hey, they could have some pretty damn sick gear. You never know. Let's go ahead and see what it is. They're definitely on the weaker side. I can tell by the hits they're, they're giving me. Oh, yeah, they're gone. It's a wrap. It is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I was not expecting that. I was actually speechless just seeing my team get dookied on like that. That was crazy, bro. But we pulled off the dub. Because you know your boy had to do it to him. And let's do, let's do a couple more. Let's do... Let's do this one, bro. Bro, Loki is such a dope character. I want to level up my own Loki. I just haven't had the resources. It's like I was telling you guys, it's very hard to actually level up a ton of champions. If you want to progress, you got to focus on very specific champions. But Loki is definitely one of those champions that I want to focus on. Damn. She just one-tapped my character like that. That's disrespectful. But she got sent to the Gulag as well. Damn, Loki doing work. There we go. Damn, bro. Loki hits hard. And it's a wrap. All right. And that's pretty much PvP for y'all, ladies and gentlemen. So what's my plan right now? I'm going to keep leveling up my characters. I'm going to keep working on making them stronger as much as I can. Now, before we end it, in the spirit of the spooky season, I want to show you guys the three top characters I'm hoping I get during this month, during the spooky season. And they're going to be some insane units. I hope you guys get them as well. But without further ado, let's hop on in and look at the top Halloween-themed characters. Now, the first champion we're going to talk about is Madame Ceres. And she's a pretty cool character. Not only does she look the part when it comes to Halloween, but she's actually a very, very good-looking champion. You guys know me. I definitely want to get myself a character that looks like this. But that's not all. She has way more to offer than just looks. First off, she is going to be able to apply a fear debuff. On top of that, she has block debuffs and true fear. She also has decreased defense and decreased attack, and she places a shield. Overall, she's a very, very good character. Her reviews are actually quite high for most things apart from the Fire Knight's Castle. So she's a pretty damn good character all around. And this is the character I would say probably want the most from the Halloween characters. Now, the next champion I want to talk about is Siffy the Lost Bride, and she's an incredibly good unit. She is a legendary support character from the Undead Hordes, and I'm just going to show you real quick. She is rated extremely high on literally every single type of content in this game, and it's because of a really good reason. Let me talk to you about her skills. 
First off, she applies sleep debuff, which is pretty damn good. She also has block debuffs, increased defense, and increased speed, which is pretty damn good. But that's not what makes her so good. Let me talk about this skill right here. Love Beyond Death revives a single ally with 55% HP and a full turn meter, places a 50% increased attack buff and a 30% increased crit rate buff on that ally for two turns. Ladies and gentlemen, that makes her incredibly strong. Not only is she going to revive your character, but she's going to bring it back with more damage than ever before. Overall, she's a really cool character and her aesthetic really fits the Halloween theme. So I'm really hoping I can get this character because she would boost my team by a long shot. And now to show you guys the last champion that I really want to talk about. And this is another one that really fits into the Halloween vibes. And that is Bracca's the Shifter. And he does something that I really like when it comes to my units. And that is healing yourself. But he does a lot more than just that. If we look at the reviews, everybody's saying that he's pretty damn good for most content in the game. And I'll tell you guys exactly why. First off, he attacks one enemy and heals himself by 15% of the damage done, which is pretty damn good. I love characters that can heal themselves, but there's a lot more. Attacks one enemy six times. The first hit has a 75% chance of placing a 25% weakened debuff for three turns, and it heals this champion by 25% of the damage inflicted. It also heals this champion by 50% of the damage inflicted. Instead, if the target is under a fear or true fear debuff, which goes really well with this other skill places a 50% increased attack buff on all allies for three turns and then attacks one enemy three times. That is pretty damn big. 50% increased attack on all of your allies for three turns is huge. And each hit has a 50% chance of placing true fear debuff for one turn and it has a 50% chance of placing a fear debuff on two random enemies for one turn if the true fear debuff is placed. Overall, this dude is really damn sick. I'm really hoping I get him. All the characters I've showed you today are sick. I would have to say he is probably one of my favorite attackers so far, so I'm really hoping I can get lucky and pull this character. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the next video for now. Remember, hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the link in the description. Join through my link for some nice goodies. Man, with so much content, you gotta be sure you hop on in. We got the spooky season, so you know that's gonna be a whole bunch of events. You got the two free champions you can get right now by just hopping into the game. It's the first one being Tag of War, which is a really solid magic support champion. And once you reach level 15, you will get Gristle Jar, which is an epic magic defense champion. You got the Asgard event with a ton of content. And you got Monkey King Wukong. Overall, there's a lot of content, so do be sure to start the game. But for now, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.